Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a lovely day. So, you wanted to toggle expressions like this? Well, allow me to show you how. So, uh, to start off very simply, what we can do to get things started easily for us is that we can go into the expressions of our character. So select character, then select expressions, and then what you can do is import your VRM expressions. That way all your blend shape clips can be imported into Wadado so it can become um, detectable. Whether it's just for face tracking, uh, you, know, ex you know, external face tracking and such, or um, anything you want to toggle and such, basically import all your VRM expressions. And then, of course, um, for this case, um, which I'll go ahead and remove the key binding, you can generate a key binding, which is a template that's really useful, so that way you can make things a lot more easier when it comes to setting up your hotkeys, basically. So go ahead and click on Generate Key Binding. And then once you're done, basically, of course, do keep in mind, uh, it will not add a key bind to every single one of your blend shapes, especially if you have way too much, but for the most part, it should get all of you know, it depends if you have a small amount. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on your blueprints here, click on expression key binding right here, and pretty much over here, this is where you can be able to edit all of your, you know, expression toggles basically. So to start off very simply, um, mainly we're going to be focusing on the keystroke press. So this is basically referencing to if you press something on your keyboard, and then this connection here will say, this is what's going to happen. So on keystroke, what is the button so let's say for instance we want to make this into numpad 1 and only numpad 1 to trigger our expression what we're going to do is scroll all the way down until we find the one that corresponds to the button that we want numpad 1 once you have that what you're going to then do is choose the following that you wish to have um, you know to toggle with so if you want to do control 1 especially if, a if you have a lot of already pre-existing toggles on your main numpad and you want to do control shift or alt to add a bit more to your keyboard you could definitely utilize that otherwise though you can set it to no just for now to set start easy uh, with your numpad and pretty much though afterwards you can be able to set up your character joy uh, you know here or whatever expression you want basically and of course you can set it up as a toggle basically. So go ahead, press the number one, and there you go. As you can see, there's a little movement animation on the node, and that way you can be able to have a nice toggle. Epic. And of course, same thing of course happens over here too. Of course, if you want to make your own from scratch, obviously, you can go ahead and click um, on the search bar here, type in on keystroke, and then press click and drag it and then pretty much then type in toggle character expression click and drag connect these points together then choose a, choose the hotkey that you want to have let's say numpad 2 then make sure to select character here then choose the expression that you want let's say we want this to be angry um, and then of course you can change it to be toggle or just enable. Usually for expressions I prefer toggling. Um, and then pretty much if I press numpad 2, angly. So yeah, um, that's pretty much how you can basically be able to do it. Uh, another also cool trick as well, um, I will say. So let's say for instance, right, you have it where you press on joy, right? And then you press on angry. You see how if I press number the numpad 1 and then I press on numpad 2, um, it doesn't mix the blend shapes together, but instead it keeps it separate, basically. Kind of like VC face, basically. So, and you're probably wondering, like, you're doing it for other expression. Let's say for surprise or determine or some other expression you have, basically. You're probably wondering, how come these two expressions are merging when, you know, when you're doing the whole, like... Uh, pressing the numpad like why isn't it like like similar to VC face or with the whole toggling of the blend shapes so um, Basically, I hope I explained it properly. So basically there is something called blend shape layers. This is definitely very useful when it comes to um, When it comes to like helping picking out which blend shapes should be additive Which blend shapes are able to mix with each other and which blend shapes should not mix with each other basically So it's really useful that you utilize this so pretty much, um, let's say for uh, determine here, it is on layer 6. And let's say I want this to be on layer 0, that way I don't mix it with these blend shapes. And instead it's its own blend shape that it will override. So you can set it to 0, that way um, you don't have to mix your blend shapes together basically. So I highly recommend this for main expressions. For 
it, expression toggles like tongue out or cheek puff and such that I rather would keep it at its own layer that way you can mix it otherwise if you don't want it to mix with certain blend shapes you can just set it to be the same layer as said blend shape you don't want it to merge with um, another cool thing also let's say for instance I'm gonna go back to my binding here I'm going to quickly change this to be the excited key right so as you can see here my eyes are clipping so much so how do I fix that and this isn't even just limited to blinking this also can apply to mouth movement if it's too bit you know if your mouth is clipping too much or your eyebrows basically what you can do is you can you know go through each, each expression so for excited which I see the check mark for um, what I will do is I will disable eye blink tracking here that way when I blink, it will not uh, glitch out. And for my case, I also see some clipping whenever I move my eyebrows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable eyebrow tracking. And I'll still have my mouth tracking working though. Um, but again, to each their own. Of course, um, if you by any chance, let's say for my case, I have a derp expression where my eyes go outward. And I want it so that way, let's say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you here just uh, another example. So let's say here, I'm going to go into Derpy. I'm going to set this to zero. And let's say I want to do this. Let's say, for instance, I don't... Well, for this case, the eyes are not moving right now. Um, but let's say I want it so my eyes only, like, if I look up, down, left, right, the Derp expression does not move the eyes or adjust the eyes in any way, but I still want to blink. You're probably going to have to utilize the blueprint and be able to, like, set up blend shape conditions so that way if this expression is you know in you know active in any way um certain blend shapes will not be working basically um as of the time of the current making of the video i haven't remembered i didn't wrote down the exact note for it but i will make sure it is in a separate tutorial when i do find out about it but otherwise i do want to at least let you know that for the time being of course you can definitely utilize disable eye blink tracking mouse tracking and brow tracking that way um that way you don't have very clippy blend shape basically of course there's even um there's even other stuff too here so in case you're wanting to constrain blend shape material properties this is basically in reference um usually when you set up your vrm blend shape clips uh when you set up like multiple different sliders this is so it can detect the fbx uh blend shape sliders basically pretty much so in case you're wondering it's pretty much that basically so yeah um and also you can even toggle game objects as well uh when you're doing your whole uh expression stuff basically pretty cool huh so yeah and also there is is binary here if yes the expression does not fade out it toggles immediately which i do like this for like let's say um like, not for the derp expression, but for expressions, like, let's say the excited, where the eyes are really different. I would definitely have it. So, let's say this one, and then I go here, I go into excited, and I press on it. It makes it a lot more snappier. So, if you're looking for that snap instead of the fade in and out, this is definitely pretty useful to have, basically. So, yeah. Um, but pretty much in a nutshell, and also there is the constrained blend shape, of course, uh, if you want to have, like, a blend shape to constrain but otherwise I usually don't touch it though but um, if you want to have like um, constraints blend shapes you may but otherwise though pretty much for the most part you can play around with the expressions of course and of course even too you can even click on enter expression so you can even test out the expression yourself basically pretty cool huh you can actually like instead of like pressing the hotkey you can like quickly test to see how it moves and such really awesome but otherwise, though, pretty much, uh, you can, of course, remove it. You can rearrange your stuff, basically. But overall, that's pretty much, in a nutshell, how you can actually set up your expressions. I hope that this tutorial helps you out regarding setting up expressions in Wadido. And let me know if you have any other questions or if you have a tutorial request uh, regarding anything Wadido related or other programs I cover on this channel. I do recommend highly please join the Wadido Discord server if you're experiencing a lot of issues when it comes to using Wadido or if you want to request a feature that should be on the Wadido program. But either way though, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!